What's going on YouTube? So my Mr. Beckett again here. So today, we're finally going to start sending stuff to PSA. I've been dragging my feet long enough on this, um, thinking that the submission process was overly too complicated or it was expensive or I wasn't sure how to ship it. So I'm just gonna knuckle down, get in deep, and just start throwing stuff in there. Usually it's around like a 30, 30 to 45 day turnaround. Not too bad. So to kick it off, I'm going to submit my base set unlimited Charizard. Look at this beautiful thing. The card that started it all for Pokemon. The obsession. The fire spin. The holographic. Angry dragon. The orange monster. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I thought of no other card better than this one to be the first submission. As you can see, the borders are very clean as far as centering. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to take a quick look at the overall card. See what kind of grade we can get here. So from the reflection, the holographic... It's pristine, perfect. Along the little edges, we see a little bit of specks of silvering. This is common in uh, Wizard of the Coast cards because the foil runs along the whole card to get it out. It's kind of like a scratch off. And it's a slight silvering on the bottom of the card here. If we look at the back, got a tiny bit of whitening right here and in this corner tiny tiny bit that's more so from factory I don't think this card was ever played because um, any played card you know they get folded they get bent they get scratched up in the shuffle look at the look how perfectly flat that is absolutely gorgeous um, I think this is a 10 contender, very least a nine, just because of a little bit of whitening. But uh, yeah, so if this does grade a 10. It's a $10,000 card. I've seen it as high as 12,000. This is the Charizard Unlimited, right? So this is um, after the first edition set, after the Shadowless set, so this is the Unlimited version. Still, PSA 10 on this bad boy is over $10,000. Now, it does drop off. Um, if it does hit the 9, we're looking at uh, $1,500, which isn't bad. Now, what does PSA do as far as, like, a submission? So, the submission for PSA, they give you some options, right? If you go on their website. So, I paid the annual subscription, right? I got the... Uh, the premium one, because they give you free credit for, uh, for Loop and uh, Card Fanatic, which is kind of like a whatnot. Uh, so they give you like $120 free dollars and then another 100 bucks on Loop, so you get your money back right there. And they have options to send it in to where they have this thing called Max Declared Value. So what is that exactly? Whatever you think your card is worth, basically it's like an insurance policy that if you send it in, and something along the lines of like either postage or PSA gets it, something happens, they dump coffee on it, whatever, the card gets destroyed. It's basically an insurance policy that they will pay you back that declared value, okay? Now, the higher you go in the declared value, um, the higher the, the fee is. So if I wanted to do a walkthrough, so they call it a walkthrough, five business day turnaround, it gets seen right away. $10,000 max declared value. That would cost me $500 up front to get that insurance policy, right? So I'm not gonna go with that one because I think this is like right in the borderline nine. Uh, if I get a gracious judge, um, maybe we can squeak by with that 10. That would be beautiful. But uh, so I'm more aiming for around $500 range, which those prices range between $19 all the way up to $40, depending on um, 
how long I want it to turn around because usually it's like 30 to 45 days. The average is 45. Um, I don't mind waiting that much longer. I mean, I might bump it up to 20 days just to get it back quickly to do this video. But, um, but yeah, so basically we print a label, right? I got it in a little card sleeve. So this is what they recommend. They used to do it to where they just wanted the raw card mailed out in between cardboard. So collectors were ran and roaring, freaking out because uh, things in postage, right? That moves around and now you're scratching up the car and then when they grip, go and grade it, it's, it's terrible. So they recommend this type of card sleeve. It's very thin, however, it's very sturdy. So you put it in the penny sleeve and then you stuff it in this thing. They recommend this one as opposed to the top loader because the top loader is hard plastic. So to, for the judge to make it more efficient on their end, they're just gonna get scissors, take this little uh, top loader, and then they're gonna cut up the side and then take the card out. This way they can get it to easy grading. Um, and then once, once from there, it just makes the, it streamlines the process. Because normally, for if you wanna do like a value member of just like sending in a bunch of cards at one time, like right now for September, they're doing a grading special, which is a 50 item minimum and that'll give you about $12 per submission. So I'm gonna do that. I got, I got stacks of these things <laughs> literally everywhere. I wanted a, a whatnot spree. As you can see, I got 94. This will be uh, video 95 of us just opening stuff up. So I got a bunch of them. So I'm probably gonna utilize that discount for this month and send them all in at once. But for the, for the Charizard, I'm just doing them all by himself. You know, I'm gonna pack it very good, do the peanuts, do the full box encapsulate this thing so that nothing bad can happen and then um, once once it comes back hold on a sec. all right so once it comes back it'll be encapsulated in this hard plastic on the sides here fully now this is like a full asset right very hard plastic it's protected forever it doesn't move because they do these perfectly centered um, ridges and edges for the border. This thing's not moving around, it's not sliding, it is perfectly set in place forever. And this is just like, you know, me showing off my first edition Charmander, PSA 10, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, if you guys wanna check out the eBay shop, we got a bunch of them that I just recently listed. Did a little shopping on whatnot, picked up these guys, these tens from CGC. Got a Lucario, a Pikachu, Zorark Break, Seedra Cardex. Look at this thing on the back, it's so cool. We got the Umbreon V Max, we got the Umbreon from um, Eevee's Heroes, we got uh, Blissey from Aquapolis, nine and, a, nine and a half there. We got our Moltres, Shadowless, Farfetch D, and a nine. We got our Charmander from Obsidian Flames at a 10. We got a Machop First Edition from Undone Seal. And then uh, we got, yeah, another Umbreon VMAX. And then we got this cool card. This is pretty cool. It's a Legendary Clash. This is Ty of Ash and Pikachu just chilling in the Pokemon Center. Um, it is in the Thai language. It's on my eBay page there at Some Average Joe. Um, so if you want to get in the card game and start collecting things, I, I recommend buying the 10s uh, because those will go up in value because not every card gets a 10, right? So if you want to start adding to a collection, I highly recommend heading to the eBay shop. If you find something you like, awesome. We can negotiate on prices. But uh, yeah, just slowly accumulate your collection. It feels good to look at it, uh, to look up uh, over and have like a stack of hard plastic. It's awesome. But um, so for me, on my journey to start my first grading process, we're going with this Charizard. One last look here. I'm gonna mail this out tomorrow. I won't see this bad boy for about 30 days. I'm gonna miss him. Um, and uh, let's hope for the best as far as grading. If you like what you see here, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, it, you have no idea how much it makes a difference in getting uh, the channel out there. It kind of pushes up the video with the, uh, the YouTube algorithm. It helps a lot. Um, hopefully we can get funded by YouTube buy some cooler stuff. We do have X and Y Evolution box coming that we're going to be opening up on stream. I'm also going to pull the trigger on an Evolving Skies booster box and we're just going to open up stuff that uh, people don't really, um, 
you get to rarely see, you know, and not many people are opening these sealed products, but I, I really like opening it up. I just, I have that feeling that I'm kind of birthing a new card into the world and it's, it's awesome. So I, I enjoy it. Um, after these get back, we got, I'm going to show off some more that I'm going to send in. We also got this Entney Gold Star that I'm going to be sending in as well. Uh, we'll do that in another video where I'll show that off and we'll go over the edges and everything. But thank you all for being here. Really appreciate the support. Even just watching the video, it's a huge help. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.